The first impression of Mogadishu as you come out of the airport is a city that is completely torn and ravaged by war. At every step you have young people uh, with, uh, holding guns, machine guns, and mounted on all manner of vehicles like the ones behind me. And in fact, when we went to meet um, Mr. Farah Aidid, these were the escorts who accompanied us. Sir, is this the house where you were when the American troops were trying to chase you down in mm. Mogadishu? Yes, this, the, this was the house which uh, was bombarded, not only one, but several times. This, this house? This house. And were you, were you always here? But you must have sort of... Well, uh, first to... night I was here, the second night when they bombarded, I was not, I have already left mm -hmm. and established uh, myself in another house. Mm -hmm. But uh, after two the bombardment, mm -hmm. I came here and I held a press conference with uh, 60 journalists. Right. And then definitely after uh, I uh, participated a uh, very big rally of the Somalis mm -hmm. in uh, uh, first July square street, right. Right. Uh, I made a speech. And then definitely I started to uh, organize better the defense of our freedom. And uh, uh, the defense of your freedom from what? From the new colonialists, the new colonialists, the new plan of the U.S. and UNESCO uh, against uh, our uh, people. What was the plan? The plan uh, was uh, to undermine Somalia freedom, undermine our struggle, noble struggle which we have conducted and succeeded to overthrow the uh, dictatorial regime of Ziad Barre mm -hmm. and uh, put Somalia under colonial system. This was the, the main aim, and uh, of course, there were another strategic uh, plan. Not only the aim was to colonize Somalia, but recolonize also Africa and uh, submit under the might of uh, United States, uh, the Somali, uh, the, 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 all the developing countries, not only Africa, but all developing countries. So what is the American interest or the interest of the West in this real estate called Somalia? What is the, what is the value of this real estate for them? Well, uh, Why have all the countries of the world converged upon this? this well, I, 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 as I say, they, they had a strategic... Uh, what is the strategic? Could you strategic, explain that? Yes. Could you explain that? First, first of all, Somalia is located in a very uh, strategic position. Mm -hmm and uh, they wanted to make their base here mm -hmm. and control mm -hmm. Indian Ocean, mm -hmm. uh, the countries of the uh, oil countries, Arab mm -hmm. countries, especially the Gulf countries, mm -hmm. and also Africa, the Horn of Africa mm -hmm. and uh, the East Africa. Mm -hmm. Somali people organized themselves mm -hmm. and uh, have born several movements among others the, the SNA, Somali National Alliance, which uh, succeeded to uh, remove the uh, dictatorial regime and uh, to, uh, you know, undertake this new political uh, agenda for Somalia. So we have disregarded the socialist, you know, this uh, scientific socialist, socialism, 
and uh, the dictatorship and to restart in Somalia uh, democracy. Right. Sir, uh, pardon my ignorance, but what could you, uh, it would be interesting for our viewers also, because we hear about this very abiding clan system in this country. What is this clan system? Could you elaborate on that? Well, you know, every country, especially the countries in, uh, in Africa, we have this uh, clan structure, social structure, based on clans. But uh, in, uh, in foreign media, mm -hmm. and they are saturating, mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, the, they are saying that the, they are clan fighting mm -hmm. in Somalia. Mm -hmm. You know, the fighting had, is, it is objectives mm -hmm. uh, uh, conducted by uh, uh, movements like SNA, SNM, SSDF, uh, and uh, uh, these objectives was political objectives. But since they are the, the many they know the socialist structure of Somalia, mm -hmm. and when they see that this political struggle, mm -hmm. which were going on for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, is they wanted to mislead the world mm, and uh, convince that uh, the struggle in Somalia is based only on a clan basis. This is absolutely untrue. What way is a clan different from a tribe? Could you explain that? Well, it is, uh, there's not much tra uh, clan and the tribe, uh, there's not much differences. Uh, uh, tribe is uh, the aim is, uh, you know, this, uh, it is uh, people who has the uh, same uh, you know, uh, uh, blood, same tradition, yes. same uh, custom and yes. uh, uh, habit, way of life. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, tri the, the tribe is much larger, much larger. That, than a clan. Uh -huh. Clan is smaller. So you and, say, Ali Mahdi can be, can be from the same tribe, but you are different clans. Well, uh, uh, we are from the same uh, community, we can say. Uh -huh. Uh, the community of uh, Hirab, Hirab, which is the uh, largest community in, uh, in the country. Is there any chance of you and him coming together and cooperating? We have already met and uh, several times agreed and uh, uh, discussed it, mm. uh, but uh, really uh, he uh, then change this idea. Mm. So people now uh, are not appreciating mm. this continuing uh, repeated meeting mm. and uh, consider like a, you know, a yeah. joke. Mm. So important is not to meet, but important is to work together mm -hmm. for the interest of the country, are for peace, for reconciliation. Right. And everybody uh, should be, uh, as I, uh, I am, fightful for these objectives. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Somalia is an independent country, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we have, you know, uh, this uh, independence from 1960, mm -hmm. and uh, we have to bring it together, our people, and uh, we have to root out all bad habits and uh, misrule in the past. Right. So what you're saying is that rather than meet him off and on and, and uh, come to no conclusion, you know, these meetings, yeah. what you're doing is you're, you're, working, you're working out a system of cooperating with each other. Of course. How, how can you do that without well, meeting? Well, you know that these people decide generally. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, first of all, I never refuse it to meet Ali Mahdi. But the, uh, uh, we use now, uh, you know, we have uh, the Imam of Iraq. He is spiritual leader of mine and of his. Right. So when we have these difficulties sometimes, mm. differences, mm. Uh, it is our tradition mm. to uh, also meet through Imam. Imam can make, yes. uh, you know, he can uh, reconcile us. Mm. And uh, right. uh, if uh, he is wrong, say you are wrong, stop. Like what he did recently, because Ali Mahdi 
wanted to wa wage a uh, war, mm. uh, continue create conflict. Mm. And uh, he recently wanted to build Wayne with uh, Amar Hachi and some others, uh, the sedent people, and they declared war. So Imam refused to accept such uh, war. And uh, uh, you know, Imam is a well-respected man, and he wanted out of Mogadishu, angrily. Now Ali Mahdi changed the idea, and uh, he, he, he went there the, these last days, and uh, he prayed him to pardon, and now he is for, he is for, he is for, yeah, and he is for, for now, uh, as he declared it, he, he said he will uh, support the peace initiative of Imam. Do you see a federal structure for this country or a unitary kind of constitution? How do you? We are for centralization, decentralization. We are for decentralization. Right. And uh, uh, recently, uh, uh, Northern uh, people, uh, led by Abdurrahman, mm -hmm. the chairman of SNM, made a proposal uh, for federal system between South and North. And uh, SNA was the first uh, alliance which supported fully. And uh, we hope to apply this federal si system in our country already uh, uh, with the uh, unanimity of all, uh, with the consensus of the people and of the, all parties, all movements, we succeeded to introduce uh, regional autonomy in, uh, in our country, in different regions. In this moment, which we have not government, all uh, regions are ruled by the same people who are living in the, in the respective areas. And we have village council, uh, district council, and regional council. So when do you expect to have national elections? in Somalia now? Uh, I think... And, and, and another question, sir. Yeah. And will these national elections, do you envisage that they will be done under the supervision of the United Nations as, say, the elections in Namibia were, were held? And, you know, uh, we are not expecting for to have a national uh, election very soon. We are expecting to uh, uh, establish a government of national unity as soon as possible, mm -hmm. uh, and introduce this federal system between <coughs> North and South. Mm -hmm. And uh, two or three years, mm -hmm. we, we will have a transitional government. Right. After the transitional government, will have the duty to uh, work out and implement the federal system, and uh, work out, of course, a charter or or a constitution. A constitution, and uh, then after that, um, after the end of the, you know, at the end of the transitional period, we will have national election. Right, I see. Tell me, do you have a model in front of you of all the countries around you in your neighborhood? Is there a country that you look on as a model that that is what we are going to do? Well. Uh, you know, uh, we have to uh, study uh, different countries who, uh, which has a federal system. Uh, uh, one of these, these countries is India. India. Uh, and uh, I hope uh, that we, uh, after the proper consultation and study, uh, we will choose the right uh, system which is fit for Somali people. So what role do you wish you want India to play in the present stage uh, of, your, of your crisis in this country? Well, India can play a uh, very important role to uh, help Somali people. Uh, one of these uh, examples is to, uh, in this moment in which we are uh, trying to uh, uh, apply uh, federal system, India can send the expert to us and uh, uh, assist us in working out 
uh, new document yes. for federation. Uh, India can help us in, uh, in the sector of uh, rehabilitation and reconstruction. Sir, are you for the disarmament of all these, uh, you know, as we were driving in from the airport in all these buses and vans, you had these young boys with, with uh, machine guns and submachine guns. I mean, it seemed quite a frightening sight, quite honestly. I mean, yeah. Are you, are you in, for, in favor of disarming these boys? Yes, you know, uh, during the Siad Barre time regime uh, in the country, floated this armament. Siad Barre imported in different way. And uh, when, uh, during the struggle, uh, and uh, when we have overthrown him, and even before, every everyone who had a weapon, even in the bush. So I am in favor to disarm. We don't need uh, people keeping weapons in their houses or with them. But uh, this can be uh, done by uh, the new government, the new government which will be set up. Uh, can you give a deadline? Say, we, uh, can we expect a new government in September? Well, I cannot say really. Uh, uh, I cannot decide with the one day. We are. But is that a good? We place? are. We are. We, we, we have. A, we are uh, eager to set up this government. Is that a feasible deadline? That in my mind. Well, uh, I can. I can say you before the end of the year. Before the end of. Before the, year. the end of this year. Will we will have, uh, inshallah, so you the said, government. You said that the West and the Americans particularly take uh, an unusual interest in Somalia because of your strategic location, because you are on the, the shipping lanes for oil that goes there. For many but, reasons, for, I can no, say. Tell me something. No. What are the other reasons? For instance, there is a story. Eight American companies are supposed to be prospecting for oil in this area. Is there oil in Somalia? Well, I believe there are oil in Somalia. Is that one of the reasons? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Is that of one of the reasons? Do you have I any, believe. Do you have any evidence to prove that? Yes. What is the evidence? Then? Well, uh, I will keep this evidence in secret. Mm -hmm. But uh, everybody knows that in Somalia... Once, once the camera is switched off, will you tell me confidentially? <laughs> well, uh, really, mm -hmm. um, in, 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 uh, that the, in Somalia there are oil mm -hmm. and other mineral resources mm -hmm. is not already secret mm -hmm. and uh, has been written mm -hmm. by many people right. uh, who, are, who has a uh, concrete information. Right. So Madeleine Albright, the American permanent representative at the United Nations, she made a speech and she said Somalia is important to us because there is a nexus between Iran, Somalia and Sudan. What, what did she have in mind? Because we, I mean, I was not able to understand that point. You know, during mm -hmm. the fighting, mm -hmm. we were resisting very strongly mm -hmm. the aggression. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have been... Uh, the aggression by the... By the uh, Joint uh, Forces, U.S. Mm -hmm. UNISO. The Joint Task Force. Yeah, Joint Task Force. And uh, the American uh, leaders mm -hmm. spread mm -hmm. that we are receiving mm -hmm. assistance mm -hmm. from Iran, from Sudan, Wobin, and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was absolutely uh, completely baseless. Mm -hmm. And we have demonstrated mm -hmm. that whatever we have used it was our own. Mm -hmm. And we never received it any assistance from outside. So there is all over the Middle East and in various parts of the world, there is this whole this rising of very militant Islam, a very militant kind of Islam. How do you explain this? Why do you think is it happening at this time in history? I think the, the problem is not only uh, religion. Mm -hmm. The problem is uh, political. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of interference in this world. And uh, people who have faith, mm -hmm. they use to defend themselves, mm -hmm. their religion. The people who have failed tend yeah. to defend themselves through their religion. Their religion also. Right. They, because they have faith. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, there should be uh, uh, freedom of religion. And anybody who believes freedom of religion have to leave the people, let the people to believe their own religion and uh, not mixed with, uh, with the politics. Right. So in other words, the religion, according to you, is a private affair and it should not be mingled with the affairs of the yeah. state. Yes. So therefore, yeah. your state, uh, yeah. Somalia, is it going to be a secular state? Well, uh, uh, the people uh, will choose this as, uh, you know, this is, this depends on the people will. But uh, you have to remember that uh, we Somalis are 100% Muslim. Right. And we are very proud to be Muslim. Right. And, uh, and whatever uh, the Somali choose, whether it's a uh, secular or, or Islamic, mm. this depends on the will of the people. Nobody, one person can, can decide this. So you've been an outstanding general also. If, the, if you were chasing an American, supposing the roles were reversed, and you were looking for an American, what strategy would you have applied? They were searching for you and they failed. Supposing you were advising them, what would you have advised them to do? Well, uh, I, I could I have advised it to act as I uh, acted, <laughs> as I defended myself <laughs> and my people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, I think. <laughs> yes, because what it seems incredible how, how this, the world's greatest power, with all their equipment, with all their sensory uh, devices, with all their, uh, uh, you know, laser devices, how were they? How did they miss out on you? What did you do? Well, I think. Tell us the trick. Now the game is over. I believe, first of all, hmm? God has helped you. God is uh, mighty, mm. Uh, mm. and uh, he is uh, unisient, mm. you know, mm. unipresent, mm. and uh, 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 unipotent. Mm. Secondly, uh, God has given us knowledge, and uh, we use this knowledge. And uh, uh, of course, uh, while uh, they were trying to chase me, to, to catch me, uh, uh, no, using this knowledge, I have, and I have my people, mm. because you know we have a very good, very high training, mm. which many people don't know. Mm. Even the, the Americans mm. were not aware of this. Mm. So we uh, did our best mm -hmm. to avoid mm -hmm. this, uh, that they capture me and uh, many other leaders and at the same time we defended ourselves. You have started some kind of a dialogue through Ambassador Oakley. The, is, that, is that the beginning of some kind of a rapprochement with the U.S.? And we uh, opened dialogue with them. We are still continuing to have that, this dialogue and uh, we are ex expecting that the United States will uh, heal mm. the wounds mm. and uh, will uh, take necessary uh, action to uh, <coughs> provide liberation for the Somali, Somali people yes. for the damage inflicted in life, in property, and uh, also image. Uh, recently, the Zimbabwean uh, uh, platoon was waylaid and, and all their arms were taken by, by your, some of your groups. Um, isn't, isn't that, this is lawlessness? How, how can you condone this? You know, uh, we, uh, and the, when the news uh, came to us, particularly to me, uh, I have given a very uh, strong uh, instruction to my uh, to my people and uh, I instigated I appointed immediately committee we are against any initiative to uh, overrun the uh, camps of uh, unison or uh, uh, unison forces absolutely and uh, we uh, apologize 
the, 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 this uh, incident which was committed, of course, by the people who are in the area, not unison, uh, not SNA forces, mm -hmm. but people who had weapons yes. and uh, who were uh, disappointed for the uh, disruption of the uh, relief yes. and uh, other assistance right. which were uh, extended to the local uh, people in Paladwain. Right. Um, are you satisfied with the role that the Indian peacekeeping forces played in, in your country? Very much. Indian troops uh, under the leadership of General Mono, they have behaved... You mean Mono Bhagat? Yeah, Mono Bhagat. Uh, they have assisted Somali people in a very uh, uh, wonderful manner. And uh, uh, they are, people are considering not only uh, forces coming from uh, uh, their friendly country, but also they consider as a brothers, and they are assisting with the uh, heartfelt, uh, you know, uh, heartfelt, and uh, mm, uh, people are very happy. There, the relationship between uh, Somalis, Somali people, and the troops are very cordial, and uh, India is a very important country. And uh, I have been for uh, four years and a half do as ambassador of Somalia to this uh, very beautiful country, uh, very beautiful people. And uh, during my stay, I learned many things. And uh, I am keeping this knowledge to pass to my people. Part already I have passed it. And I am continuing it taking advantage of what I have learned from India. I believe that historically, even, uh, India and Somalia had a very long relationship. And it is started exactly according to the history. 537 years uh, BC, before. Before Christ. Before Christ. 537 BC. Why do you yeah. say that specific date? Yes, because uh, I have conducted mm -hmm. research. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what I, happened in that date? Yeah, that what happened. This is the day mm -hmm. when the Indian uh, sailors, mm -hmm. you know, arrived to Somalia mm -hmm. and started to have relationship with Somali people. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and I learned from Indian books mm -hmm. that uh, at that time, India gave Somalia this name, Somali Desh. Somali Desh. Somali Desh. So there's, there were some stories that you had some relatives in Kerala. Is that true? Well, yes, I believe so. Uh, yeah. And uh, many Somalis, uh -huh. they are uh, coming originally from India. Uh -huh. From India. Are from, you from there? Well, maybe. No, Even no, now, no, there are no, some. Seriously, there was a story. Yeah. There was a story that you uh, you had relatives in Calicut or that part um, among the Mopila uh, areas of, of Kerala. Well, there there are also history that I'm, I'm coming uh, uh, um, from uh, Hyderabad. Is that I, true? I, the truth, whatever the people say, may be the truth. No, what do you? Think? What do you? <laughs> but do? I believe that the the relationship uh, we have to you know more deeply. Uh, investigate this, but uh, I believe if uh, uh, there, uh, if uh, the people are believing so, uh, it something can be, be some something. It should be true. Something should be true. So, yeah. So you, your fa family. Not only be, me, many others also. You and your many others Somalis could actually have links with places like Hyderabad mm. and yeah. Kerala and the coastal yes. areas. Of yes. Yes. You have seen how the characteristic of the people. Yes. You know, yes. say many things. Right. Have you been in touch with your relatives? Or? In this, uh, in India, with with the relative your people yeah, with the people Somalis who are living for a long time in India. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. I met them, uh -huh. and uh, I have discussed it, and I hope to meet meet again. Thank you very okay. much, sir.